What's good, y'all? This is your boy, Young Link Jr. here. I uh, just want to come at you guys with another video. So we have President Joe Biden. He finally signed a $1.9 trillion spending uh, stimulus package. And this is going really good. This is a big win for the middle class. As you can see, uh, it was a little bit different from the previous stimulus package. I mean, we have like $1,200 and the $600. But I mean, with this, I mean, if you look at it, those who make up to 75000 in a single household, they will be able to um, apply for this. I mean, eligible to have the money. And then you have individuals who file jointly to marry, make, I believe, to 120000 uh, up to 120000 They were able to receive the $1,400. And I want to say the highlight of this bill is that if those who have children, you know, parents that have children that's like ages six and under, I mean, they will have uh, $3,600, you know, um, so I think that is a really a huge win for that. And the thing is, too, you know, people are still like kind of still suffering economically from um, the pandemic. So it's a lot of small businesses were just done and they really couldn't even not only like pay and pay their employees, but they got to keep, keep up the upbringing and upkeep of the building, you know, the infrastructure. So that was a really hard thing. And people was like, man, this is like they put on a life savings to different businesses. They not like the big businesses like Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's businesses. That's not going to go away. They're going to be there for generations. So I think this is a, a really a good win for the uh, middle class. This is something that uh, is a good way for us to, you know, continuously to save money that's in that boat right now. I mean, you know, those who are working at one, two jobs. But I will say since this pandemic happened, jobs has been hiring. I mean, I was just walking down the street and uh, it was just signs saying, hey, text, text this uh, such and such number. We're hiring for, uh, for different um, positions. Little, no experience. So if you are still actively seeking for a job opportunity, there is a chance. <laughs> and there's a chance. You just got to look for it. But with the stimulus package, that could at least help, you know, uh, the 3600 tax credit. Little things like that, that's good. And also, too, what I learned when I filed uh, taxes with my wife, H&R Block, she didn't receive her stimulus um, packages last year. And so that was actually added on to the taxes. So even I'll say like a worst case scenario, if you don't receive your stimulus package and you were supposed to be eligible because it's based on your income, you will get it. In, you will get it in the future. You will get it when you file your taxes. I mean, it will happen because they they actually have an option now. They would say, hey, have you received your stimulus package? Have you did this? You know, all this stuff. So uh, you would get it back from the IRS. But for the most part, this is something that we can, we still learning from, recovering from. I'm thinking about the people in Texas that had to experience that horrendous uh, weather <laughs> and everything, man. People couldn't afford generators and they had the luxury to move out. Little things like that, man. I mean, you know, this money can kind of help out a little bit. Yes, I know places in California, New York, Hawaii, Alaska, this place is very expensive. But I mean, for the most part, like the Midwest area, I mean, this is um, this is a little decent. I mean, we need need this kind of money, man, to, uh, to keep to keep moving forward, man. And hopefully, man, just people just do right with it. <laughs> and uh but you know it, it's people can do whatever you want with their money but i have to say you know usually the government don't have to give out a whole bunch of handouts <laughs> to a large variety of americans i mean for this i mean he ended up you know some of this the third stimulus package and we see we're still recovering um, from the pandemic as a nation so i mean uh this is all new to us but at least the good thing is you know it's it will be coming in as soon as next week so we have to see, man. So, but it's it's good, man. And if you have direct deposit, you will get it quicker as opposed to a uh, mail. You know, people might, you know, a lot of people don't have like bank accounts or a direct deposit set up. But uh, I just want to say, man, it's my opinion about it. I think it's, uh, it's a really good move. Good just move. Hopefully this won't be the last. And uh, I just to say, I just like kind of what I'm seeing so far. But that's all we have to say, man. Uh, good, good work from the House and the Senate. Glad they was able to converse and get something together. <laughs> and I'm not going to really go into detail about how I really feel about the Democrats or the Republicans. That's just not the time for this video. So you guys can put your comments in here. I know some people are going to be like, oh, well, government's just playing with y'all. This is the same government that go against the people. Not, I mean, yeah, whatever. it could be true. But this, at the same time, I don't want to go into detail with that. Just want to stick for into the the economy and and how the, the middle class are like pretty much like in the middle of everything <laughs> so i mean we, it's like you're not rich and you're not poor but you, you're just getting by but you, if you can have that extra push 
you be you know you you will move up you at the end of the day you just you know you're just taking care of your family taking care of yourself or whatever you're a single mother or a single father you're doing everything you can to put yourself in the best position to god calls you home so that's all i really have to say you guys continue to like comment subscribe share this video tell me what y'all think about this i'm out deuces